go. You see him looking at us across those white lines on the bridge of the nose. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at that glint in his eye. Big ears also. We spoke about this sort of the different senses earlier this morning. Imagine the Alas do live in thicker habitats, so they, they utilize the earring quite a bit. It's an important part of their sort of awareness or how they build the picture of what's going on around them. And also those white lines that I mentioned, they help them in that thicker habitat as well. My time also, of course, but also when it's very low and dappled light. Those white lines just help to reflect a little bit more light into the eyes. You can see when it's looking at us, it's looking across those white lines. And uh, this may be bounce that extra little bit of light into the into the eyes for them to see slightly better in low light sort of the same as as those facial discs that you get with owls it's helping to concentrate and capture more sound <laughs> he's beautiful <laughs> chewing away as you can see grind that the leaves down to a fine pulp also ruminants of course the same as most of your antelopes pretty much all your antelopes really giraffe for instance as well buffalo ruminants as well animals that ruminate chew the cud uh, he swallowed it another one coming there chewing again <laughs> it's actually funny once you can see it it, I remember the first time I ever noticed that we could actually see the animal swallowing and regurgitating the cud was with a giraffe. Of course it's a much more lengthy process then and uh, something that can look quite, quite comical even.